welcome back this video is the second part of the Deca Requeza series Deca Requeza or DR are your money spells 100 in total we are on number 11 the 11th DR spell is the good fortune of Mercury Mercury is the Roman patron god of financial gain and commerce along with luck and communication he grants you liquid cash and intelligent wealth keeping high vibes within you to enjoy the same. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds, and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see from designs one to five are from the good fortune of Mercury. from the Greek god Dionysus. He shares his luck with you, giving you the golden touch straight from his money purse for multiplication of wealth. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds, and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see from design one to five are from the money purse of Midas. The thirteenth design is the sapphires of Jupiter. Jupiter, or the planet Brihaspati, bestows wealth of property and riches manifold. A strong Jupiter brings immense wealth and good fortune for you. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds, and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs one to five of the sapphires of Jupiter. The 14th design is the diamonds of yellow Jambala. Jambala is the Tibetan patron god of wealth, success and prosperity. His mongoose is said to grant the boon of wealth, precious like diamonds, to you. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs 1 to 5 of the diamonds of yellow jambhala. The fifteenth design is the cornucopia of Taike. Taike or Eutychia is the Roman patron goddess of fortune and chance also known as Lady Fortuna with the symbolic cornucopia or the horn of plenty. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs 1 to 5 of the cornucopia of Taike. The sixteenth design is the pearls of Osiris. Osiris is the Egyptian patron god of wealth accumulation through the pearls of life and its lessons. He grants you the ability to make and enjoy your monies in your lifetime. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs one to five of the pearls of Osiris. The seventeenth design is the crown of Goddess Tara. Gold Tara is the Buddhist patron goddess of wealth, 
prosperity and abundance. Also known as Vasudhara or Vasundhara, meaning stream of gems, this design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs 1 to 5 of the crown of Goddess Tara. The 18th design is the riches of Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia was an ancient civilization that meant between rivers in Greek and consisted of the Sumerians, Akkadians, Assyrians and Babylonians. They were known for the abundance of prosperity, property, trading, wealth and currency called Shekel. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs 1 to 5 of the riches of Mesopotamia. The 19th design is the emeralds of Ganesh. Ganesh, also known as Ganapati, is the Indian patron god of wealth and the grantor of miracles. He is revered for his ability to remove obstacles and begin auspicious financial journeys. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs 1 to 5 of the Emeralds of Ganesh. The last of the DR money collection, the 20th spell, is the treasure of Flor de la Mar. Flor de la Mar was a Portuguese merchant ship that sank with a large treasure near Sumatra. The money energy from this sunken ship increases a smooth inflow of wealth in your life and provides a calm retention of the same. This design follows the color scheme of gold, diamonds and shades of blues and greens. The pictures you see are from designs 1 to 5 of the treasure of Flor de la Mar. All right, viewers, this finishes your entire collection of DR or Deca Requisa money spells. Now you have all the hundred designs with you to choose from. Make any wish, as many wishes, as long as it harms no one. Remember that you should help yourself. In fact, if you help someone else, say you want to have a spell done for someone, a relative of yours, um, your child, your husband, or your wife, uh, friends etc the more you conduct spells on behalf of someone else some of the money magic will also rub off on you that's how blue magic works i'm sure you already are aware of it so now that we are done with all the spells and explaining everything to you let's jump right into the frequently asked sections uh, questions list now this section has five questions that you will be wondering about so we're going to go ahead and clarify them for you the first one you may want to know how does this work so i cast the spell on your behalf you receive the pictures the videos and the instructions on a daily basis until the last day when i dispose the raw materials now remember when i am sending you the pictures the videos or the instructions and or the instructions they will be either through email or through whatsapp but the information is going to be sent to you if you have any doubts don't hesitate to clarify i will be there to clarify it it is important to note that for each of the spells the pictures that you are sent the that's the fruit of the 
spell for that day. But the main picture, what we call the DR, that picture is going to be laminated by you. Take a colored printout. The size doesn't matter. You can make it small. You can make it big. You can take multiple printouts. And then I'll ask you to place it in certain places. You can carry it with you. For some cases, you can uh, display it. For some cases, you can store it. But it has to be followed as per the instruction. What is possible, we can always compromise on that, right? The second question, what are the ingredients of the spells? Now, if you remember, for each of the spells, each of the 20 spells, we had five designs, right? So spells one and two of each design have eight raw materials and eight visual aids. Let me explain. Raw materials are in the pictures. If you've noticed, there is a white sheet and a plate. So whatever you see on the white sheet, those are your raw materials. Everything surrounding that, they are the visual aids for the spell. So the spells one and two have designs of made of eight raw materials and eight visual aids. Spell three and four of each design have 16 raw materials and 16 visual aids. Spell five of each design has 32 raw materials and 32 visual aids. Your next question, how long are the spells for? Spells one and two are for four days. This does not include the standing altar time because that adds up to much more. That's three hours each day. Standing altar time, which means all the items will be put on the altar with your information on your name on my eclectic altar for three hours every day of the spell okay so if you have spell one and two for each of the four days three hours each day similarly spell three and spell four are for six days and the standing altar time is for six hours each day spell five is for eight days eight days <laughs> with a standing altar time of nine hours for each day now, let's move to the second last question. What do you need to submit as information to cast this money spell of yours? I will require your name. This will include your middle name. For some of you, if you have an initial like P so and so, you have to give me the full form. Make sure the spelling is correct. This has to be something that is there either on your birth certificate or your marriage certificate but it has to be on paper i also require your date of birth which means you need to give me the date of birth that is registered or that is on a birth certificate or on some kind of paper if you have a birth date that is not the one that you go by i still need the one on paper don't worry we'll clarify it when we speak i also now in case you're a company uh, I will require the names of the partners, the registered name of the company, the GST and the EIN. And please, give, and this all has to be the one that is registered. Okay, so you can send me a picture, I can copy it down or you can write it down. No problem. Now, remember in both the cases, whether it's a profession, whether it's a business, I do require a clear, realistic command. I want one crore in my bank account. That's not good enough. How do you want to make that? Remember, the DR spells have been designed to give you what you want, providing you work towards it. That direction is important, viewer. Don't forget that. This is not the kind of place Drakaina believes in empowering you to get what you want. And I will empower you. You will get what you want, but you have to walk towards it. You have to work towards it, right? The last question, when do we see the results? Now, for some it is the moment the spell is cast. For others, it could be on the last day. Please remember to keep your vibes high, remove anxiety, and let the universe grant your resultant wish. Focus on the process, focus on your vibes, and the job will be done. I hope you enjoy these spells as much as we enjoy designing them and creating them for you. These are one of a kind, never done before, and probably will never be done again. So signing off 
from here, from Rakhaina. I hope you all are happy. I hope you all are healthy. Enjoy designing, enjoy spell casting, and enjoy the whole process of DR or the Decoric Wizard spells. Beatus essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.